Oh no! Time for another beer review. Um, it's Friday challenge time again, and for this week, the challenge was set by Adam over at Mersey Beers, and he asked me to do Banks is mild. So um, this is coming in at a big 500 mil can. Um, Banks is out of Wolverhampton. It, I have done a Banks is beer on the channel, but it's a different brewery. So if you are looking through my um, archives there is a, a beer called Banks's Caribbean Lager on the channel but that's from Barbados um, and Wolverhampton isn't in Barbados so um, yeah so this is 3.5% it's a mild ale uh, it says it's smooth and full bodied with a multi warming and slightly fruity taste um, very traditional looking can kind of reminds me of the cans that I used to see in the back of the working men's club in the fridge. Um, I have had this beer once before. Um, I had it on Boxing Day um, at Walsall's ground when my beloved Carlisle United beat Walsall with a last minute winner. And um, I didn't really enjoy it that day, if I'm brutally honest, because the beer was warm, it was served in a plastic cup, and I just had three double IPAs in Brewdog Birmingham so um, it was my palate was probably wrecked so I didn't really um, appreciate it so it's been in the fridge it should be in a better nick now than what it was that day so um, beer in a glass that is a lovely amber colour more yeah amber brown it's quite there's like a yellow light hue at the bottom um, very Quite vigorous carbonation rolling up to a foamy off-white head. Yeah, it's off-white. There is a bit of a yellow hue to it. Right, so just get the nose. It smells quite sweet. Sweet malt. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the smell of the old like McEwen's um, back in the day. But uh, the old red can. Yeah, like a sweet malt. Right, let's dive in. Cheers. Um, it's all right. It's better than it was that the last time I had it in Boxing Day. Um, with it having a bit of a chill on it. So um, the body's thin to medium. It's not. It, it is a little bit thin and watery, but it's not too bad. Um, Flavour-wise, I'm getting. It is a sweet beer. I'm getting the sweet malt up front. There is a metallic note to it, and the metallic note kind of overpowers the malt malt profile up front, but. The beer is kind of rescued at the end because you do get like a, a pleasant fruity aftertaste and fruity finish and there's a slight, just a su slight, slight bitterness in the finish. Um, it aim and there's, there's a slight bread note as well in it. Like a brown bread. But it ain't the best beer. I've drank far worse. I would have said it was a terrible beer. But the finish of it, the fruit flavour is quite pleasant. And I think that saves the beer. So, um, it's not an expensive one. I think it, I paid 3 99 for four. Um, I'll be able to drink the four. I'm not, I've, I've done some of these Friday challenges and getting drinking the four packs and whatnot is a challenge in itself. But I will manage to drink um, the four pack of these. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, so... I will have it again. Um, it's all right. I think there's better milds out there, um, but it's it's all right. It's a low ABV ABV beer. It's one to session on. You could session on it all day, um, and it's fine. Um, so yeah, if you see it about, give it a whack if you're into your milds. Um, keep the challenges coming. Um, I've got a couple lined up so i'll get a few more challenges done and um thanks for watching usual malarkey click like and subscribe and all that and um yeah keep the challenges coming and on to the next one cheers